Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Pablo Galascares, uh, and it's a huge honor to be here at this stage. I came from Chile, which is a long, long trip, and I'm glad to be here. Uh, today, we are going to, to talk about uh, squad planning uh, in, a, in, in a context of football, a professional football, but the relevance of this, uh, this investigation, this research, is related with the balancing competitive success and financial sustainability, okay? So, uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, as I said before, my name is Pablo Galas. I'm the current assistant director, uh, sporting director at Universidad de Chile Football Club, which is a Chilean uh, first division um, uh, club. Uh, I'm the manager of the women's squad, and my manager of the youth academy, both men and, uh, and women. And I'm the leader of digital transformation at the club. So, uh, but also, uh, my, my background is um, uh, I have a degree master in operation research, uh, and currently I'm a PhD candidate, uh, a doctoral program name engineering system uh, at the University of Chile, but in this case, the university. Uh, and this is like a, a, a there's kind of relationship between the university and the, the professional football club, but it's just a coincidence. And my main field of research is sports analytics, and I focus. Uh, uh, on management, particularly in football, because it's a way to, to relate my, my both roles. Okay, so uh, professional football clubs uh, mainly optimize uh, their squads to, to, to win a championship. That's the, the main objective of, of, of the most clubs. And the sporting director selects players based on performance, market value, salary, age, nationality, position, projection of the players, and, and so on. Uh, so the squad changes through time, and, and that change occurs when uh, there are like uh, players' arrivals or departures, and there are some key decisions that are involved in this in this context. Uh, for example, uh, what positions to be improved, uh, what players uh, renew their, their contracts or just uh, fire in this case or, or release th those players. So the problem is that most of these decisions are mainly. Uh, uh, do, uh, done by qualitative things. So here we try to 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 put some structure to 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 I don't know to to study the, this context. Okay. So what's the problem? Uh, how to balance the trade-offs in between sporting performance and business constraints? As for example, budgets and legal uh, legal regulations over the course of the of the seasons. Okay. So trade-offs. Sporting performance, business constraints over the seasons. And this problem is relevant because every single club in the world has this problem and they face every season. Okay, so what are the difficulties of this problem? Because there are a lot of uncertainty of the fear of player performance. Uh, there are a lot of market speculation about the, the, the transfer market fees and these kind of things. And those trade offs are evaluated uh, mainly qualitative. So, my, my proposal, or my, 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 my research proposal, is named multi-season squad planning, uh, and it has like a modular approach, and I'm going to, to explain uh, right now. The first module uh, is when we, we put all the info, information, all the data together. Uh, the module one, uh, we, we bring all the basic data of the, of the, of the players, uh, statistics, uh, market value, financial, and these kind of things, all, all, all in, young, in just one place. In module two, we are going to estimate a player score performance in uh, using uh, stats from data. In the module three, we are going to, to estimate or project two things. The, this score that we already estimate in Model 2, and the market value of the players. Uh, in Model 4, we put all these projections together to create the, player, uh, the projected player profile, okay? which contains name, birthday, age, main field position, the projected score, and the projected market value, to finally, to, 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 to finally do the, the, the main of, of the proposal, or at least the, the, the work that I'm <laughs> to, uh, bring here, that is the multi-season squad planning, which is an uh, integral programming uh, that try to optimize uh, the overall score of the player, considering the legal, legal regulations and budget constraints. Okay, so model one, basic data, performance statistic from, uh, in this case, it starts from data from the Premier League 22-23 and 23-24. And uh, financial attributes in this in this in this uh, in this part, we are going to 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 consider the transfer market value that we well, we obtain it by web scrapping uh, by web scrapping. Okay, so then 
Uh, these are the, the field positions that we are going to consider just to make the players comparable uh, between them. And uh, the events that we are going to consider. Uh, shot, block, pass, clearance, carry, interception, dribble, duels, fault committed, goalkeeper saves. And why these events? Because they contain the own ball value uh, for and against us that make us uh, or that allow us allow us to 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 evaluate the performance of the player. Okay. So we try to uh, in, in in the first equation we try to estimate the score of a player in a season T. That's the main objective of the model two. Okay. A score of the player of the player P in season T. And we are going to use the on ball value. And we are going to compare the average on ball value for and against us uh, with the average of the players of the same position of that player uh, in a in a specific season. Okay? So we are going to have the difference between, for example, a passing uh, OBB for uh, a specific player compared to the to the to the league. And we are going to ponder uh, to wait. Uh, with different with the with the other events to create like the OBB for uh, just for the players like a weighted average between all the events that uh, that the that we we are considering in this in this uh, in this work. So then we are going to wait again uh, the OBB for and again us because there are some positions that uh, matters uh, uh, most. I don't know to create opportunities or goal opportunities. And there are other uh, positions that um, needs to avoid conceding goals. Okay. Uh, here are an example. For example, Mohamed Salah in season 23-24. The overall score is 69. And in besides, there is the uh, OBB four uh, percentile, uh, 68, and again as 72. And it has, I don't know, a percentile 87 uh, in shot compares with the with the players in the same position uh, in that season. Okay. Uh, another example with Anthony Gordon, which is, for example, a percentile 87 in duels or in dribble is 75. Okay, that's compared with the with the with the players in the same position. Uh, another example with John Stones and Kieran Tripper, but but the same but the same objective is just to to create ranks in each event using the on ball value. Okay, so let's go to model three that we have like two. Uh, estimation or, or, or prediction models. The first one is uh, we are going to, to or, or trying to explain the difference between scores. So I have in the data two seasons, 22, 23, 23, 24, and we are going to, to explain or try to explain the difference between uh, both uh, seasons, okay? So we are going to, um, uh, to use the score of the, of the first season, that's uh, T minus one, no T. It's a, a typo. Uh, H in season T, H squared, and a binary representation of the position. And then we run uh, some model, uh, liner and non-liner models. And in this case, lasso regression works better uh, for, for this data. Okay. Uh, and we are going to use this model then to, to, to project the, 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 the scores. Okay. For the following season that we have no data. To the transfer market value, uh, we do something similar, but with the with the difference between the log market value, this is a log log model, and we use again the lag uh, log market value t uh, minus one, h t uh, h square, and a binary representation of the of the of the position, uh, and uh, again lasso regression works uh, works better in this with this data, okay. Uh, finally, oh, no, not finally, but in module four, we create this projected project profile, which contains all the information that we that we estimated uh, in the in the previous models. Uh, for example, the scores or the market value players for the following seasons that we have no data. Or I mean, for the for the following seasons, okay. And there is some interesting variables, for, for example, uh, nationality or if a player is youth. We are going to consider a youth player if it's under 21 years old. Okay, why? Because in Model Five we're trying to represent the sporting director decisions. Okay, so in this case, uh, it's an integral programming that we consider, for example, uh, if a player is in the squad or is not in the squad. We have two two states. We can we can uh, add more states in the future. I don't know if a player is, is on loan, for example. Okay, and and we use uh, an auxiliary variable that uh, allows us to to capture if a player was hired in a specific season. Okay, uh, and the objective function is to maximize the sporting results. 
Okay, in this case, the sum of the of the quality of the players that that I have in my squad uh, over time. Uh, some constraints, but gets constrained, so I, I need to, to I have like a, a cap of expenditure in in hires in each season, and some regulation constraints. Here I I, I just 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 for example I put a minimum of uh, youth players required by regulation. Uh, for example, in Chile we have like a, a, a minimum minutes of young players that uh, needs to be filled. Okay, we can add uh, foreign uh, foreign players constraints and these kind of things. And a squad structure, uh, just to, to give some structure to, 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 to the problem, uh, 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 a maximum or a specific number of, of, of player per position, I use two per position, except goalkeeper that I uh, decided to, to, to consider three. And now some variables relation, uh, just to, to, to make the problem uh, work. Okay, so let's go to the results. Uh, in this case, uh, we are going to run an instance. Uh, we consider Crystal Palace team, budget to high uh, 100 million euros, uh, a minimum uh, under 20, 20, 21 players, three, players per, per position, two, goalkeepers, three, max age to be higher, uh, 35, and mean contract length, two years. That's just to, to put some, some parameters to, to run an, an, a proper instance. And what happened uh, in, in season 23-24 was the this value shown in, in, in the in the left in the left uh, well in your left <laughs> uh, plot is the is the overall score or the sum of the overall score before uh, 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 the the IP was was run. Okay, so then what happened? Uh, the the, the program or the, the optimization program tried to maximize the overall score of, of the of the of the of the squad in each season, uh, constrained by some transfer fee uh, or maximum transfer fee, and we see that uh, we didn't use the whole cap, the whole budget. Okay, so so here is like the how the the squad evolved through time. So in the first in the first field you have like the current or the last season a squad of, of Crystal Palace, and then you can see that there is a, a, a structure, two players per position, three goalkeepers, and in the following, or oh, where are the, um, the red boxes, uh, there are changes of players that I'm going to show here. Uh, for example, in the season 25-26, uh, Joe Ward uh, was uh, was released from the team, and I don't know, Timothy Castagne was incorporated. And the same with uh, Jordan Ayeo and David Brooks, because uh, both players incorporated outperforms in this or in this score, the players that we are uh, releasing in this case. Um, well, this, uh, this methodology allows us to, to make like a sensi sensitivity analysis. We change the budget to higher. Uh, we, we, this is it's just an example, but we decrease the budget to hire, and the total score of the overall score of the squad is going to decrease. So then we can we can run different instances with different parameters, and we have like like a framework just to compare different scenarios that we want to to or how we how we want to create our squad uh, for the future. So some limitations or future works. Uh, first of all. Uh, I would like to incorporate uh, 360 data from Statsbomb. I think that it's a very rich data that uh, is not considered right now in, the, in, the, in this framework. Uh, implement a new method to, to estimate transfer market value of the players. Uh, the same is to, to estimate salaries of the players because we could add a constraint about the salary cap of in, in a squad. It could be interesting to, to check something like that. Uh, improve the method to evaluate player performance. It's, it could be like an, a vector, an n-dimensional score performed, not just an one and unique overall, for example. Uh, test more machine learning or, 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 or with different uh, hyperparameters yeah, to, to see how the, the, the performance of the, of the models changes. Uh, more characteristics to play a pro uh, projected player profile. More managerial constraints to the IP, okay? And finally, I don't know, it could be interesting to, to incorporate a prioritization index 
okay, so uh, the, the problem said, oh, you need to, to hire these five players. Okay, which, which is, could be the first target, and then the second, and there's, and there's the, the third. So that's it. I think that it's a, a, a good starting point, a good framework, just to start thinking for the future, for the, for the following seasons, and it could be interesting to, to hear, uh, I don't know, some suggestion or, or, or anything as you get. Thanks, Pablo. That was very interesting. Um, do we have any questions? Uh, yeah, it, it, without knowing too much about squad building, it feels like oftentimes you're more worried about the tales of player performance than you are about like the median outcome. Have you considered using any sort of distributional approach to, for score or transfer value? Um, well, that's an interesting point. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I think that I put uh, main focus on the on the model five just to interpret like the decision making process. But it could be interesting for for the following months to to work on that just to to check how how the distribution of of of, of the prediction are, for example. Uh, but it could be a, a very interesting point to to consider. So thank you.